Hey guys. So when I did my leg lengthening, my fear of developing a non-union was paramount. I had read enough horror stories on YouTube, uh, you know, different forums, leg lengthening forums uh, about the non-union that it was one of the situations that I did not want to encounter at any cost. And it just so happens to be my luck that I, I don't know how many of you know that that's what exactly what happened to me. So right after the surgery, as I started to lengthen, uh, there was a big scare of non-union. And I'm creating this video for those who wonder what the journey would be like if you are at risk of developing this situation. I got my surgery in the second week of December and I started to lengthen around the end of December. All of that went without a hitch until February when we started to notice that there was a big fat gap. Literally, if you see the images, it all looked like my femurs were getting apart, so I was lengthening, but then there was no callus in between. Or it, if there was a callus, it was really, really like translucent or bad quality. So towards the end of February, we slowed down, which continued, the slowdown continued in March. And unfortunately, the callus on the femur's gap, it was not improving. So even the slowdown, we even did the accordion method. Accordion method is just like an accordion, you narrow the gap, you, you, you reverse the lengthening, and then you extend the lengthening again, back and forth, back and forth. You shorten and lengthen, and you hope that because of that, it will disturb the callus enough in between that it will propagate the callus to develop much faster. It didn't help either. So we had to start discussing the, the ground realities and, and to select the date when I should stop. And I stopped at the beginning of April. I stopped lengthening. And that's when my consolidation began. When I stopped lengthening, I was hoping that since there was no more distraction in my femurs, they will get a proper chance to heal, you know, form callus. But unfortunately, my progress was extremely slow and almost non-existent. In July, I was developing this constant fear and anxiety that I'm never going to be able to heal. And these nails in my femurs, I'm never going to be able to get them out. Uh, and this is the situation I'm going to have to live with. So in July, I asked Dr. Asiag to quote me uh, for drafting and mesh surgery. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, if you enter into the situation like non-union, you can, that gap that's developed as a non-union in your femurs, you could have a sur special surgery done and get a cut in there and put a special mesh uh, that propagates nerves and bone and everything. It's an expensive surgery, but it helps non-union to heal. So there are solutions for this. So I went to Dr. Asiag again. I told him like, listen, just quote me for a surgery. I just want to get it done with, get it over with. Because it was a constant panic that I was living with. Because uh, every time I would go to Dr. Asiag, we would do a sur x-ray. And lo and behold, guess again, the callus is still not improving. So I'm thinking like, all right, this non-union is going to be my life. So this is where I like to give Dr. Asia the credit. So even though I was asking him, like, just give me the quote and I want to get the surgery done. He sat me down and he spoke, spoke to me. And he said that at the end of the day, he will do exactly what I want. But can I give, I can I trust him and give him some more time? And he told me that my body is still healing. So give him some time and let's, let's see, let's wait. So I listened to him. I waited. He believed that I was still making progress. So I backed off on the new surgery idea. And we decided that I'm going to be visiting Dr. Asiag every three months. And from there, 
every three months, we did start to see progress. I was exercising a lot. I was taking vitamins. I was walking, bearing weight, eating lots of protein. Um, fast forward to my last appointment in June this year. Uh, the x-rays we were one of the best ones that I have gotten. Um, the callus progress is excellent. Uh, and uh, in June, we decided that I should follow back in six months instead of three. Uh, and since it appears that I'm continuing to develop the callus, and I'm not afraid of non-union anymore, and I can see that I will be able to get the rods out of my femurs eventually. So this non-union has been quite a journey for me. And I wanted to create this video to highlight a couple of points here for you guys, for potential leg lengthener or even the ones who are dealing with non-union scare. Number one, Dr. Asiya could have just relented and gave me the quote. Remember, I was asking him, just give me the quote, I'll pay for it, I'll get the surgery. Instead, he sat me down and he convinced me not to get the surgery. Trust me, in medical field, the surgery avoidance is a big deal. And if a surgeon helps you do that, that means that's a good surgeon. So kudos to Dr. Asiak. So that's one. And I'm always going to be thankful to him to having me talking off the ledge of having to have surgery. Second one is, I have come to realization that femurs being one of the thickest bone in the body take the longest to heal. And I searched on those on that point and I realized like, hey, even if uh, somebody would break their femur naturally, it would heal, but for fully heal, uh, to, to, for it to be fully healed, it will take some long time because femurs are one of the thickest bone in our body. So, so give it some time, don't panic. And number three, Make sure you stay active during your healing journey. As I feel like that as I started to bear weights and regular uh, did start doing regular exercises, I uh, felt like I was healing much faster uh, than before. So make sure that you're very active. Number four, complications like these are exactly the reason for us to only choose the doctors who are capable, who know what they're doing. So this is the biggest reason, non-union, for you to choose a quality doctor. So finally, I hope I have not scared or discouraged any of you from this surgery because despite this roller coaster of a ride, the benefits that I have reaped in my career, my daily life, my interaction with other human beings and my personal mental happiness, I would choose this surgery all over again even with this experience, if I have to. So thank you for watching. I wish you guys a lot of luck, and I hope that you guys get your surgery soon done as well. Take care. Talk to you guys later. Uh, and uh, we'll try to make next video as soon as possible. I'm traveling, so as soon as I get time, uh, I'm going to post it. So stay tuned. Bye.